Now we study the vector fields. Uh, what is vector fields? Uh, there are some uh, examples of vector fields, uh, like the electrical force in the physics or gravitation. These are vector in the uh, examples of vector fields that uh, for at each point uh, the uh, elect uh, the electrical uh, electrical force has direction and magnitude. So for uh, vector fields, uh, the definition is vector fields. That is. For any point, at each point in its domain, we assign uh, uh, vectors m, x, y, z. For each point, we assign a vector, a vector to it plus n, x, y, z, g, and uh, uh, p x, y, z, k. That means at each point and for the uh, two-dimensional that is like at any point uh, each point we have a vector to it. We call this vector field. And we can represent vector uh, vector field by graph. Uh, let's see an example. Because each point we have a, uh, we have a vector, so we can draw, and there may be we can draw a vector at each point. The first example. That is a vector, a vector field uh, that's on R2 is defined by f x y that equals negative y i plus x g. That's a plane vector field. Uh, the vector field that for each uh, for each component is a function. Now f x y is negative y i plus x g. So we can um, pick up some point at at the origin. The f is zero. That's one, two, one, two, negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two. At one zero, at one zero, uh, that is x equals one, y equals zero. So at this point, the length is 1. The length is 1. x equals 1, y equals 0. And uh, the, the direction is point, uh, point, up, uh, point up. So at this point is here. And at, at this point, at 1, 1, that is, uh, we know that from uh, 0, 0, we got f, x, y equals 0. And 1, 0, that is f, x, y, that is g. At this point, is g. At 
one one that f x y that is negative i plus g so at one one the vector is here point to here Mm. and uh, at uh, 0 1 that is f x y f x y and x equals 0 that's the negative y so at this point is he And, uh, and <coughs> negative one, one that is an f a cos uh, negative i negative g so at this point is point to here the length is square root two and at uh, negative one zero <coughs> f equals um, negative j so this point point to here <coughs> and negative one negative one uh, f equals i minus g so this point here and uh, uh, 0 negative 1 f equals mm, i so at this point it's point here and this point here like this <coughs> At this point, at each point, we draw a vector. Uh, use use the use the expression of the vector field. That's the first one. Okay, that's the graph of vector field. And the second uh, important. Uh, concept for vector fields that is conservative or the fourth is a gradient vector field that is f equals gradient of some scale function equals partial f partial x times i partial f partial y times g plus partial f partial z times k that's gradient vector field and we can see our example of that uh, sketch the gradient vector field uh, vector field of f x y equals x plus y so the gradient the gradient f The gradient f that is uh, one one. So at any point, at any point, it, it points to this the same like this the same uh, the the same direction the same length. 
always here. At any point, it's the same thing. This is a gradient vector field. So from the gradient vector field, we have the um, important uh, concept and, or definition of conservative conservative vector field. What is conservative vector field? Uh, if and the definition is if uh, f equals gradient of some function, the vector field is a gradient of uh, of uh, if f equals uh, is a gradient of some some uh, scalar function, um, maybe uh, an region, we call that f is conservative. And uh, uh, this small f is called potential is called the potential function of the vector field The conservative uh, conservative vector field. The uh, most important thing is that is how to find the potential uh, potential function and determine uh, what uh, uh, whether the vector field is a conservative vector field or not. And there's and there's a function. Uh, there's a theorem. Suppose D is a simply connected uh, domain or region. And uh, F equals uh, m x y z i plus n x y z g plus uh, p x y z k is a vector field on d Then F is conservative if and only if a partial partial M partial X equals partial uh, partial M. Uh, Mm, partial m, no, not partial x, partial m, partial y equals partial n, partial x, partial m, partial z equals partial p, partial uh, x, and partial n, partial z equals partial p, partial y. 
that's a conservative. That's uh, in 3D. Uh, in 2D, we can use just uh, the first one as enough. So the and the the theorem uh, suppose that the condition is that as the D first the domain or the region is simply connected, and says the second one that is should satisfy this equation. The proof uh, we we only prove the uh, the first part that is uh, if it's on a simply connected domain. Then we got this the got this equation. That is the necessary condition. Uh, we only prove this part. The second part uh, should use the Stokes theorem. We will uh, prove it later. That is, F is conservative. Oh, then uh, uh, there's another condition. Mm, uh, conservative. Mm, yes, another. There she should has the first derivative. Then. Subject and uh, has a continuous first derivative. Of all components. Then F it is conservative if and only if it decides to satisfy uh, this equation. And so the necessary condition is that is if f is conservative, f is conservative, that is f equals gradient of, of some scalar functions. Then the m x y z equals partial f partial x and uh, n equals partial f partial y and uh, uh, p equals partial f partial z by the uh, uh, challenge the mixed and the, the, the uh, equivalent or mixed mi mixed derivative that is partial square f partial x partial y equals partial square f partial y partial x. Then we got partial uh, m partial y should equals partial n partial x and partial square f partial x partial z equals partial square f partial z partial x. We got partial m partial z equals partial p partial x and partial square f partial uh, y partial z equals partial square f partial z partial y. We got partial n partial z equals partial p partial y. Uh, the uh, sufficient con uh, condition we will prove later. After stock seal. That's the, conserv the, the conditions for conservative for conserv uh, con uh, uh, for a conservative vector field.
Let's see uh, some examples of how to find the potential function or determine if a vector field is conservative or not. Okay, uh, the first is show that f equals e of x causing y plus yz i plus xz minus e x of sine y j plus x y plus z k is conservative over its nature domain. find a potential function for it. So the first one uh, we we know that's the uh, uh, because f the natural domain for f because all those, those functions all those functions are defined on the whole on the on the, uh, on the whole space so the natural the natural domain for f is whole space. The, is, the whole space is simply connected. So the first uh, condition and uh, so uh, the first condition is satisfied. So we find that if the second condition is, is uh, satisfied or not, that is, we find the equation. So the partial m partial y, that is partial partial y e x cosine y plus y z, that is negative e x uh, sine y plus c and partial n partial x is partial partial x x c minus e x sine y that is c minus e x sine y so these two we got partial m partial y equals partial n partial x the first uh, uh, the first equation is satisfied and the partial m partial c partial partial c e x uh, cosine y plus y c that is y and partial p partial x is partial partial x that is x y plus c that is y so the second uh, the second equation is also satisfied and the partial n partial c is partial partial c x c minus e x sine y partial z that is x and partial p partial y 
partial partial y x y plus c that is x so the the last one the last equation is satisfied that's the first one so p is conservative and what is the second how to find the find its potential because we know that f is potential the gradient of f so m x y z should equals partial f partial x we use this to find the potential function so uh, partial f partial x that is uh, e x cosine y plus y z uh, so partial f partial x is uh, e x cosine y plus y z so we can integrate both sides so f equals the integration uh, independent integration e x cosine y plus y z then d x because it's partial x uh, we uh, regard y z as constant so the uh, integration that is e x cosine y plus x y z and then plus the g y z g y z is regarded as a constant that's a, that's the constant for indefinite integral uh, because the derivative of x for g y z is zero so this actually is uh, uh, play the play the rule as uh, as arbitrary constant. So next next step we need to find g y z. So f so we got f equals e x cosine y plus x y z plus g y z. So we use the second function to find the g y z. So partial f partial y that is n. The partial f partial y that is e x negative e x sine y plus x z plus the g y the derivative of y. The n is the n is x z is x z minus e x sine y. So we got g y y z that is zero. That is g is independent of, of y. So g y z can be as right as h z. It's independent of y, so it only uh, depends on z. And then we use the the final the last function that is partial f partial z is p because partial f partial z now partial partial z the f that is e x cosine y plus x y z plus h z because g y z is uh, is h z that equals the, mm, the function for p is x y plus z that is x y plus z the uh, left hand side that is uh, x y plus the derivative of h z 
that is x y plus z. So the derivative of, of h z that is z. So h z is one one over two z square. Uh, you maybe uh, write uh, add some constants. So it's only need us to find one potential find one potential function so we we can um, we can uh, drop off this part so f equals e x cosine y plus x y z plus one half z square is a is a potential function You, you may uh, add any const uh, constant uh, add any constant to to the uh, small f okay that's the example to find the potential function the last one we last uh, the last example uh, show that f equals the negative y over x square plus y square i plus x over x square plus y square j is is not conservative it's not conservative over its natural domain the solution is we can actually we can find the partial m partial y that is partial partial y negative y x square plus y square uh, use the quotient uh, quotient rule x square plus y square square uh, the derivative of our no, uh, nominator that is negative one times x square plus y square minus the long later uh, and the uh, the later times the derivative of the later 2y so that actually the x square plus y square of square as negative negative that is 2y square minus x square minus y square that is y square minus x square over x square plus y square square and partial n partial x that is partial partial x x over x square plus y square that is x square plus y square that's square that's x squared plus y squared times 1 minus x times 2x that is y squared minus x squared over x squared plus y squared squared uh, we have partial n partial y equals partial n partial x unless x y equal zero zero uh, there is uh, these two functions are equal but mm, not at this point so the natural its natural domain does not contain this one but its natural Uh, domain is not simply 
connectivity. It's not simply connected. So it's not conservative. Okay. Uh, Maybe we uh, will need to know what is simply connected, and uh, um, six, five, or six. Maybe someone, some some student uh, don't know what is simply connected. Connected. What is connected? And simply connected. Connected that is uh, for any uh, this is connected. And this is connected. Connected connected that any two points in the in the domain can be drawn by piecewise piecewise uh, curve. Any connected connected domain at says any uh, two points. And be joined by a uh, piecewise piecewise smooth curve. Simply connected. That's the connected. What is simply connected? Simply connected, that is uh, any closed curve can be string. can be continuously continuously drink to a point uh, this uh, this point uh, this uh, domain is simply connected uh, this is a uh, 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 closed uh, closed curve so it can be simply Con continuously drink to a point. No matter no matter what what, what is uh, how how uh, is uh, shaped, but for any curl, any closed curl on the domain, maybe on the domain or in the domain. Can be continuous. Can be continuous. Drink to a point. And uh, as if uh, this is not simply connected. If there is some hole. Because this one cannot drink to a point because we can uh, we, uh, we we cannot pass this 
pass this hole is not simply connected. That's the, uh, that's the definition of connected and simply connected domain.